what are some of the, the pitfalls that you as a social media manager are trying to help a biz business avoid? And we've seen, we've seen some interesting things with Twitter in the last month, you know, oh, how it can be a tool or it can be a weapon. And so what, what do you do for a business to help them not fall into that, that path? Well, I think there's a couple of things. And the biggest thing is just recognizing that social media is a communications tool and it's a community tool. It is not necessarily a sales tool and it's not necessarily a tool that's intended for one for one type thing. So for example, both personally and professionally, one of the best examples I like using is be really careful about the communities you're joining in the sense of what hashtags you're using. I once had a very high power ad agency here in town suggest for a client that they use hashtag happy ending, which on Instagram was not something that that particular client should have been involved in, to put it very gently, but they just didn't type that into Instagram before they suggested that they use it. So it's really the job of each person on social, but also the social manager to just notice things like that, to be aware of the communities that they're getting involved in. Because really, social media is a 24-7, unprepared, constant press conference it is really what it is. People will pick up a tweet and post it on the news without any conversation or discussion beforehand. So from you as a social media expert, are there any other tips and hints for us in Leadership Spokane to you know, do some great work with social media and avoid any, any other pitfalls, for lack of a better word, um, personally and professionally? Yeah, um, there's a couple. First of all, never, ever, ever treat every social media platform the same. Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and LinkedIn and Clubhouse and TikTok are all different platforms and they're all different voices and they're all different communities with different norms. So if you take your Facebook post and you copy it to LinkedIn and then you copy that to TikTok with the music behind the static post, you're not treating the community as a community and you're saying that I just am pushing this content out there with no thought to my audience. And as anybody who does communications can attest, audience is everything. So always treat every social network differently. And that might mean that you only post on LinkedIn once a month because most of your content is tweets and that's okay. 